back to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joints, doll, and craft related content. Today I have a package to open and I wanted to do it this way because I know that the person who sent me this package likes to see my reaction to said packages. So a while ago I did a Christmas craft exchange with a bunch of friends over on Instagram and that was super fun. Uh, I knew I was going to have one package that was going to take a little longer than the others, like this much longer. So I decided to make that its own video, especially because I also was gifted a head from this person who is, I guess I'll just say it, at Hopeful Creations on Instagram, uh, gifted me a head because I loved it and because he said he, okay, he simultaneously said he hated it and then also that it looked like me, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but he hated it because he's trying to make a boy character out of it, but, which also, <laughs> I can see it, I guess, sure. But, um, I've had this headless doll leaves body. This is my me body. I mean, not really. I would love to get a thick girl body for this doll in the future. Maybe a booty body. Maybe, um, if the BJD... Queens is making a doll called Bon Bon and it's got a thick chubby body and I'm a thick chubby girl and I would love to not be represented by that's gonna be my mini me for now and I'm super excited I also have commissioned a pair of glasses from stellar BJD designs over on Instagram they're a Canadian based business and um, they do like BJD eyeglasses and other accessories, but I commissioned custom ones to look like this. See how round and Velma-esque they are. Um, I do have these ones from Alice's Collections, which look like my glasses circa like six years ago. So we'll go for it for now. They're also made of metal, which is pretty fantastic. But um, that'll do for now. And while I'm, maybe I should change. Should I also? I feel like I need to wear yellow for this. I'll be right back. Hello, I return and I am now wearing yellow, like my mini me. We wear yellow because yellow is my favorite color and I have a lot of it. So let's get to opening this box. Um, according to the tracking, it's still in Spain. So yay for shipping during the Rona. Also, I don't know if you're taping things up so intensely every time, Pablo. I appreciate it. You could probably go slightly later on the tape. So yeah, so part of this is wigs for the craft exchange. But um, there's also a head in here, so. Yep. So we open the box and the packaging is very nice. Oh, we have a candy, Fiesta Piru. I'm so it's Pirouletta, Pirouletta, Pirouletta. <laughs> we have a lot of Christmas hats, holy. So they're like pookie feet. They're even smaller than a pookie feet. That's a tiny hat, but <laughs> he sent me six of them. <laughs> six. I mean, what we could do is next time I have a headless doll, we can just do this, right? I mean, it's less scary to look at than just the next stump. Heads first, wig first. We're gonna do head first. So we have this with all the cute little bows and st stamps and sticker things on it. Oh, I can already see her face. So the face up artist for this is Coco Diamond Arts over on Instagram. This is my first doll with a face up by her and it's super cute. It does kind of look like me. Even the eyes. So Pablo even picked out the eyes for it and everything. It's super pretty. How did you not love this face? I believe it's a doll leaves Yoko and he's includes some eyelashes just hanging out in there for me so I can add them on after. And I will do that when I do eyelash extravaganza. There's even blushing in the ears. I'm just gonna put her there. Um, oh, I also got some extra eyes. We traded a few eyes too. I sent him some of the uh, follow me eyes, which I don't particularly like, but he really does. So we just swapped back, which is really funny because when I bought them, I had them sent to him for him to send to me, and then I just turned around and sent them right back. So. I'm just so excited this is here. 
Okay, and I got some pretty eyes in there. So very nice. Wigs. Oh, and we got some sugu. Is this like Starburst? They look like Starburst. But um, I sent Pablo a list of like things I can't eat, which is just can't don't eat uh, just gelatin milk honey eggs all of that and he sent me some Spanish candies which I'm super excited to try there's those and then there's this one which I think we have it's called Kojax it looks like something if it's like a sugar sucker we have something very similar here in Canada oh it says the Leno de Chicle so I know now that Chicle is bubble gum or gum so there's gum in this oh it also says bubble gum build okay well mm. <laughs> is there English on all of them unless pirulita is fiesta but I feel like fiesta is a Spanish word okay I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna dive into these wigs right now so we have wig number one and of course Pablo always uses these really soft mesh bags and I think this is the mini me wig he made. So I sent him pictures of my head, this one, that actually needs a haircut. So it's gonna be a bit off and he made me a mini me wig. I feel like I should get my little hairbrush, but I don't know where it is because he's made this one so it's kind of like short because I'm growing my hair out, but it's like short on the sides and then longer on top. And I'm going to have to brush and style that, but I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit, because what I actually do is have some of the long bit on mine come around the sides. So I think I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be really fun to like make this look more and more like me. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the doll head on. I'm all over the place. Cutie! Put the wig on kind of where you want it at the front and then kind of just push the back down and that has been serving me well. I put this on wrong. Please don't rip the back of the head off today. Okay. The part's even on the same side. Heck yes. It got a little curly along the way and my hair is definitely not curly. You. Okay, side note to Pablo, you've gotten so good at these like short tapered hairstyles on the side. It's not quite as long as mine is, but four months ago, I guess, when I was growing it out. So probably about the time I sent you pictures, right? Do I cut my hair? I mean, it's probably about the vibe, right? What should I name her? I need your help. What is her name? She is my tiny mini me. I don't want to name her my name. That seems really weird to me. Like calling her like little Rose or something creepy. But gosh, she needs, she needs a name. She is so cute. She is the version of me that can actually hang out in the dollhouse mediocrity <laughs> back here. But oh my God, I'm so happy with her. Look. Okay, on to the rest of the wigs. I also grabbed uh, the doll head my daughter has named Lola because she's kind of like USD sized and I don't currently have a USD doll so she will try on any USD wigs. I've got Maple here and um, this is Corn Girl so Pablo named her. I gave her a different name I believe. She's that 3D printed from like a corn plastic fiber and her I stole her wig for um, Lola so she's just a hot mess right now and she could definitely use a wig. I forget how light she is, like I don't play with her. Anyways, onto the wigs. Also sitting onto the ground makes me feel 100 years old. Does it do that to anybody else? Let's start with Maple. I knew he wanted to send me a red wig for Maple and that is very cute. My one thing I'm wondering is I don't think her antenna are gonna work through this because uh, when I leave the magnets on, they're puttied on. And um, you'll see they kind of like, they raise up a bit, but we can try. Take back everything you ever said. The antenna fit on the wig. It's 
sorry for the emo kid moment, but that is very cute. She looks like she snuck at, or left school or how old is she? I think they're supposed to be 20. I don't know. So they look really youthful, but I don't want to have ch ch like child characters. I'm not into that. All right. She had a mental breakdown over her college exams. <laughs> Me. Um, and over Christmas break, cut all her hair off and got like all these like highlights and lowlights. That looks so good. Like with her little ears, like there's the orange, there's the red, there's some browns. It definitely like her fall earthy aesthetic. It is so pretty. I love that. Look how good she looks. She needs a better outfit now. Now I need to dress her way better, but that looks so good. Couple smaller ones. I think they're all kind of small. So these will probably fit Lola. We have a really pretty blue. It's like a blue-gray mix. I'm, there's two in this bag, so I'm just gonna open both. And then there is a silvery gray, which is very exciting to me. I love like silver blue. This one's smaller, so I think this is gonna be a corn girl wig. And I think silvery blue will look really nice on her. So this fits Lola. And it's like a short on the side, long on the other side. She looks very punk rock. Very cool. I'm wondering if this will fit Margo. Amazing! I need to brush it. I know Pablo's gonna come at me for this, but... She looks so cute. Look at this. She looks so good in blue. You look so good in blue. <laughs> Are you mentally stable or do you still listen to emo music from the early 2000s like me? Oh my god, I love it! It's so funny how like a wig or a face up or the right eyes just make you love a doll like in a completely different way. By the way, when I was in high school, um, I had two different bedrooms, long story. At two different houses, long story. Divorce! But um, <laughs> my bedroom was this exact purple with like Mayday Parade and like CD covers and that's why I'm doing her room like that. I'm basically recreating my like 15 year old bedroom. Like that's what's happening in that room. And um, I don't know what's happening in this room, but okay, silvery one, but this does fit her. So I do have a doll it fits. I think they're like bang bangs. So they're gonna go down, down and in. I need to stop, I need to stop. Actually, I'm kind of coming around on the blue with her skin tone. Like, it's very soft and cool. This needs to be kind of restyled at the front. I love the like light curl in it though. I do actually quite like this on her. I might pop a beanie on her just to flatten. That's a, a trick is if you have a wig with bangs, if you just pop a beanie on them, that usually will take care of it. Oh my gosh, okay, I still have one more bag. And Corn Girl and Lola don't have new wigs. I don't know if they'll get new wigs, but we'll see. And I have <laughs> this tiny red wig, which is so cute. It's very like aerial red. This is so tiny. I think this will fit Corn Girl, oh yeah. There's the red one and then there's this like auburn and purple one, which I actually think will suit her better. Yeah, that's definitely an improvement to her bow fur wig. That looks pretty cute. She looks moody. She's kind of reminding me, this hair reminds me on her of, um, if you've ever seen Teen Mom, there's like Chelsea or whatever, like Aubrey's mom, like for all my people who watched Teen Mom growing up. Like she's like a little bit, now it's she, because it's a very feminine haircut, but I mean, she could, could still be a little boy with like aerial red hair, but it really goes with the red in his eyes, her eyes, their, their eyes, they, them, who? Very cute, big improvement. A lot of our friends got new wigs today. I think my favorite wig though is Margot's. I am so in love with her, like love all over again. She is my lovely alt queen and I am also super in love with my tiny me. I think these are my two favorites of the day. Thank you so much to Hopeful Creation and also great job, Coco Diamond Arts. I'm super impressed with how pretty this face up is. 
If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.